So make bingo cards and hopefully, you know, put some thought into, okay, what are some particular chores that aren't on the regular schedule, or we would just be blessed to have that done a little more often, put those on there and have them ready to go for Saturdays if the Saturday is wide open. Welcome to the Simplified Organization Podcast, 15-minute conversations with real moms about managing our homes and family life cheerfully to the glory of God. We can actually enjoy housework and love being homemakers when we focus on truth and work with gratitude. I'm Misty Winkler, homemaker for 20 three years this month, homeschool mom of five with two graduates and author of the book, Simplified Organization, Learn to Love What Must Be Done. I write and podcast at Simply Convivial and I run Convivial Circle, a community helping women to excel at homemaking and do life cheerfully. And today I'm joined again by one of our members inside Convivial Circle, Racy Magic. Gracie grew up a California girl who's been transplanted to the wheat fields of the Midwest. She loves her vocations of daughter of the King of Kings, wife to her husband, Stephen, and homeschooling mom to her nine children. Some of her special treats in life are a good book, a hot cup of tea, and check marks on the to-do list. So thank you for coming back on the podcast, Gracie. Thank you so much for having me. It's a great treat to be here. <laughs> And if you've read Simplified Organization, the book, then Gracie's story is also in the book. It is. I've been so blessed by Convivial Circle and all the courses these past four years. It's been a huge thing in my fam- my life and my family's life and our home. Very blessed. So we were hopping on today to talk about Baby Step Bingo, which is one of our favorite annual challenges inside convivial circle there's a little bingo card with baby step actions like clean the top of your dryer or read a psalm or a proverb you know they're kind of all over all different kinds of things on the bingo card but they're all very small things Mm -hmm. and there are prizes and we make it fun but the real point of baby step bingo is seeing that that small steps add up and make a difference because usually there are little things that we wouldn't even count as being done but because it's a bingo card you you completely count it right (laughs) it's like a way to count the small things being done and to see how they add up when you do a bunch of little things so you've done baby step bingo several times and then you kind of adapted it for use in your family as well so I'd love to hear about that so this season, this summer, we were in a the special time of expecting our ninth baby. And usually our family does school year round, right? Now we've been, for quite a while, we've been organizing it six weeks on one week off. And then with just extra life breaks for trips or things we need to do in there as well. And it's more of a year round schedule. But especially our last few babies, we've planned a bigger break when the baby is coming and it just so works out that they they generally hit around summer so we got a for real summer break this year and it's not as normal for us just because we don't do it every year so it you know is more of an adjustment and but also because we were at the baby stage end of pregnancy and then postpartum we could do you know not a whole lot of running around and outside activities. And so what do we do with the kids? And I firmly believe in them having plenty of free time to, to read, to create, to be creative. Uh, But it does seem to help if there is some structure and some additional productive time. Uh, So what we ended up setting up was kept up with their regular chores already scheduled. We had some reading for the readers, like time in God's word, and then time reading independently. And then that's where the baby bingo came in, is we, I printed off the cards and we set up bingo cards for them to have one extra productive project, way to bless the family. We called it home blessing each weekday and Saturday, Saturdays too. So, uh, we, I set up a card 
for particularly for my older boys and one for the older girls. And then the next little guy who's about to turn eight, he kind of jumped between the two. And we ended up doing a later iteration for him. But so we set up the cards and the guy, the boys had more yard work stuff and some indoor. And the because of how we were using it for some productive time and a little bit more project oriented, they weren't, they were a little bit more than just a baby step. But most of them were not huge. They're, you know, and there was a variety. So just some examples would one day would be clear out the van. And then next day, hopefully they would pick right to vacuum the van, but it was separated into two steps. And I think one of them might even put an arrow, like if you do this one, then please pick this one. <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> there was they were free to choose. And some of them, like those were very specific. Some were very much open-ended. Like you pick a spot to declutter in your room and mm -hmm. show mom and then show mom after. We weren't always so good at the follow through with that, but, <laughs> and then same in the house. We also had some, you know, just those things that never happened, like move the couch cushions, clear out underneath them and vacuum, clean out the silverware drawer. So some of those, there was really a range in time. Some of them wouldn't take too long. Some were more timer oriented, you know, weed for 30 minutes. So there was a range. And we also set up blackout prizes. So our very first one, the girls finished up theirs and the whole family went to Dairy Queen. And so that was fun. And one that we still need to do was Sonic drinks and fries. Everybody goes. Another one was just these nice popsicles I'd bought when got done everybody got a popsicle and it was fun we like all went out inside and all did it together and took a picture and it was it was still a party you know and the little guys got it all over and <laughs> it was it was great along the way we made adjustments sometimes stuff that I put on there it was like well you we don't really need that done right now or that won't work practically for this reason and I just crossed it out put something else underneath so just kind of iterated as we went along, they've almost finished their fourth card between all of them. So they've got a lot done. They've blessed the family a lot. Um, and it enabled us, as we were coming up to a baby, to, you know, a lot of the regular routines coming, you know, staying in place with regular tours and stuff. But then it also enabled us to level up in small little steps, get things done that weren't normally getting done. And it also helps to ward off a little bit of that boredom that comes if it's just a completely wide open day. And uh, as of right now, so I had our baby a week ago today. So we're in the immediate postpartum. And so we set aside the bingo cards for right now because they are just helping with all kinds of stuff here and there for just the regular running, you know, heating up lunch, helping with the two-year-old, just, they've been a huge blessing. And so that is off for right now. And then once we've had more adjustment and healing, then we will probably be back on it for the rest of our summer break. And it's been good. And one of my, my thoughts at this point is I'd like to keep it going for Saturdays. Uh -huh. So make bingo cards, and hopefully, you know, put some thought into, okay, what are some particular chores that aren't on the regular schedule, or we would just be blessed to have that done a little more often, put those on there and have them ready to go for Saturdays, if the Saturday is wide open. Uh, oh, so an iteration I did for my younger boys, my eight, oh, well, seven-year-old was coming to me often, I don't know what to do and struggling. And so it's like, okay, I need to cut this down more and his is more like true baby steps okay so I took parts of what would normally be our afternoon cleanup around convivial we call that ehap and just took little pieces like clean up the toys on the wood floor pick up the kids books just little pieces that he could do at some point in the day that would just make the place better and then a couple other th things, like one that's not on the schedule kind of needs to be EHAP, the front yard of toys. <laughs> and then one training one I put on there is 
fold a load of laundry with mom. Like I can sit on the couch while I'm getting better and teach him to fold laundry. So that's what I said. And we did that right before baby came. So he's done a few and it was kind of cute. One of the first days after baby came and I was telling everybody, okay, we're done with bingo card for right now. He was like in the middle of doing his baby steps. Like he'd gone on it, he'd figured it out and he was doing it. So I think it's going to be a good iteration for him. So uh, I guess the method, some of the benefits of the method is just that it allows some direction from mom or whoever's setting it up, but then it allows personal choice by whoever is picking it. Right. And then like I already touched on, it allows to, us to hit chores that aren't part of the regular schedule or just something that needs to be done more often. And then for myself, I found a way to implement it right now. And just around this time, we always get super blessed by neighbors and people at church and stuff with meals and baby gifts and things. And so I'd started my list and then for thank you notes. And I was like, hey, I could do this as baby step bingo. So I started a baby step bingo card with my thank you notes and this the squares are perfect for the name and the, the description of what you need to thank them for. And then I like to mark them with an X. And so I'm like, well, I'll do the one line when I've written it and the second line when it's delivered or in the mailbox. So oh, that's, nice. that's, mommy's, <laughs> that's mommy's baby steps for right now. <laughs> so it's working out. I think it'll be great. It makes it just a little different than a list and it's a perfect setup for it. So that's fun. I like that the X even are baby steps in the process. Yes. Yes. It's like each one is a baby step. It's like a double baby step right there. <laughs> so yeah. So that is how we've been using it. And it's, it's been a great, it's been a good blessing for our family and has, they've really brought a lot of home blessing. It's been, been great. <clears throat> That's a fun way to use it for just training the kids that they can be helpful. And yeah, I think that that ownership of choice in the process of seeing what needs to be done and having that ownership of picking from the list from the, but it's more fun than a list, right? Especially those prizes. Yes, yes that does help. But I like how the prizes that you've picked, like are still a family event. Yes. Um, like everyone is helping the family with right. these. And that's also showcased in the way that you celebrate the fact that the bingo card was done. Everyone benefits from the bingo card being complete. Yes. And you create little, little family memories along the way. And yeah, not as competitive, I guess, as it would be otherwise. <clears throat> well, that's so great. Well, enjoy that little baby while wow, he's little. Thank you. <laughs> we will. It's bringing a lot of joy and getting loads of love. <laughs> and thank you for taking the time to chat with us about Baby Step Bingo. Absolutely. My privilege. Thanks, Gracie. Thank you. So our Baby Step Bingo month begins in August. Everyone will get a bingo card and there are prizes for your first bingo and even stickers and bookmarks in the mail if you finish the complete blackout bingo card. Plus inside the community, there is encouragement and chat conversations like this one about applying these ideas more broadly in our home and really enjoying getting things done around the house and investing ourselves in our home and family. If you want to invest yourself as a homemaker, we help you do that inside Convivial Circle and Baby Step Bingo is a great month to begin. Just go to simplyconvivial.com and click the green enroll button or find a link in the description below. Every day inside Convivial Circle, we help one another repent, rejoice, repeat.